Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Our topic today is energy and conservation energy. We have two objectives for our lesson. First, state the principle of conservation energy. Second, state and apply the work energy theorem. Energy is the system's ability to do work. Unit for energy is same to the unit of work, which is Joule. They have two types of energy. The first one is potential energy, consists of gravitational and elastic. The second one is kinetic energy. Gravitational potential energy is an energy due to position of a body, like these two examples. Elastic potential energy is an energy stored in elastic material. The more stretch, the more stored energy. Example of this energy are spring and rubber band. Kinetic energy is an energy due to motion of body. What similarities do you notice about all these examples? Yes, all the examples are involve motion. Principle of conservation energy state, for an isolated system, the total amount of energy is always constant. Energy can be transferred from one to another, but it cannot be destroyed. This is example of conservation energy. The potential energy of the elevator ramp is converted to the kinetic energy when the ramp is released. Okay, student, now look at this situation of roller coaster. Can you see that kinetic energy and potential energy always change, but the total mechanical energy always constant at any point? Work energy theorem states that the work done by the net force on a body equals the change in the body's kinetic energy. This theorem tells us that when work is done on an object, there is a change in energy. This is example of work energy theorem. By applying the brakes to slow a moving car, work is done because they have a change in kinetic energy. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for your time. Assalamualaikum.